Good morning, Tabitha. Sit. Sit. Good morning. Good morning. Say hello. Good morning. Good morning. Got you coffee. I guess we are vlogging today. This is one and a half tablespoons of the Kai Chi Maple ba uh, Pumpkin Creamer. This way you can have more later. And it's a tiny cup, so I figure you don't need a full serving. It's not even as big as my head, like our normal cups. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we're Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. What are you doing? No Shave November is in full swing. I know, but you're making me shave today. Yes, because we have to have some pictures taken, and I don't want you looking like Santa Claus. Well, we're off today. Well, as off as we can be. Yeah, so why not spend our day off filming for Two Crazy Kids? I love it. So, so we're going to do a bunch of vlogging today. I've got to go check on a brisket because I've had a brisket on the smoker since midnight. Sorry, neighbors. Yeah, I'm sure that they're not super happy at 6 a.m. waking up to the smell of a cooking brisket. I don't know. It made me happy. But I'm trying. I'm going to try cooking it a little bit different than normal. Normally, I get up at like 6 or 7 a.m. I put it on like 225 degrees and I let it go for like 8 to 12 hours. Okay. This time, I put it on the smoke setting, which is about 190 degrees. Oh, okay. Started it at midnight, and I'm going to like let it go for like 16 hours. Ooh. So I just moved it up to 225 degrees, and I want to see, do we get a better char, a better smoke flavor? Um, but it's just obviously taking a lot longer. I don't... I hope we don't have the pork loin debacle of two weeks ago. Oh my gosh. So we had this pork loin that I got from, I don't know where, like it was like Whole Foods or something. It was a good pork loin that was on sale. The dog is like going nuts. I know. Here. She's like, I want to be in the video. I know. Do you want to come up? So I made this pork loin and you know, I had my thermometer in it and I guess my thermometer was broken and I kept checking. I'm like, boy, why is it not like, was it Still frozen in the middle? Yeah. And you're like, I'm like, it shouldn't take this long. I finally just like got another thermometer and checked it and I'm like way overcooked it. Yeah. So, Even Tabitha was like, mm, Yeah, I didn't want to eat What else it. we have? Yeah, so I'm gonna go check on the brisket and then we gotta do some filming. We had to do a photo shoot today. We're yes. just a self photo shoot. Yeah. We need to take a couple pictures for our website. We're so fancy. I know. We're not willing to go to a photographer. We're gonna try to have Anthony do it. Yeah, he's like, what? I'm like, we'll set everything up. You just click the button. We had to stop for a second because the dog just wasn't having not getting attention paid she to her. She just needed some morning lovings. Yeah. And then we can continue. Yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, um, yeah, Rachel has a flat tire on her bicycle. I don't know what you ran over, but I've tried filling it up and it just leaks out again. Why do we think it's something I did? <sighs> Maybe I was attacked by like a screw or a nail or something. Well, I don't know because lately I keep getting nails in my truck and in my trailer and they're not from our house. So I don't know where it is, where I'm going by my storage unit or at the church or somewhere yeah. where we just keep getting a bunch of screws and nails in the tires. We so. don't have a screw loose. <laughs> we have a screw tightly embedded. But I think it's funny that as soon as you purpose in your heart, like I am doing this, like I'm going to exercise every single day, which is what I've decided. Like, all right, I'm getting it in. Um, immediately something happens to kind of like put a wrench in the plans. That's right. And so I'm like, no, we're still exercising. So I'm going to walk four miles today. Oh, that's because, a good thing. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm getting my movement in. I don't care how we have to do it. By the way, I like your new haircut. 
Thank you. I, you know, it's a better value if you get it cut shorter, right? <laughs> Same price. We're so cheap. It's always about, I want the most for my money. $18. So now, in addition to doing our filming, uh, we're gonna try to film. She's still trying to get She's in the like, picture. She's like, I'm not done yet. <laughs> we're going to do a video on how to make our peanut butter fudge. Wait until y'all try this. So that is coming out. And that's about, what else are we doing? Um, I'm apparently got a morning full of Tabitha. <laughs> so I'm gonna go drop the shipping off and then we're going to play a little bit and get this Labrador energy out. Oh, and she's gonna try her new Katona food for lunch today. Yes, we finally finished the other bag of food. <laughs> and I need to go to Walmart to get some more stuff. Our neighbors must love us because it is 6 a.m. and this brisket has been on the smoker since midnight. And uh, yeah. I don't know if I would be happy waking up to this smell if I didn't love brisket. The biggest problem with having bicycles is the flat tires. Fortunately, I know how to fix this. Okay, so it is eight o'clock in the morning and I am about to head out on my four mile walk. I'm actually going to walk in the direction of my local big lots as kind of a reward for exercising. So I get a little bit of window shopping for getting up and moving today. And I don't know, it feels like a reward. I gotta run to Walmart so that I can get a sheet for a photo backdrop. And then I also have to find a new tire for Rachel's bicycle so she can get back to her bicycle riding. And while I'm going, I'm going to enjoy a mocha super coffee. So I am on my way home from my walk. And I just stopped to take in this beautiful view at the park by my house. Just nice and relaxing. It was totally worth getting up, getting moving. It's not always my favorite thing to do. You guys know how much I detest exercising, but this is really nice and relaxing and just kind of something I can do for me, no matter how busy we get. So I just got back from Walmart. I got Rachel's tire, so I'm going to go change it so she can go for a bike ride. Sorry about my hair, but I did want to share with you um, another benefit of exercise today was I got to go shopping a little. So I went to Big Lots and let me show you what I got. First up, I'm gonna try this. Moco de Gorilla. Some sort of Gorilla Punk indestructible hair gel. When my hair is like really short like this, I like to keep it spiky. This was only three dollars can't really beat that pretty awesome three bucks uh the next thing i got was some hairspray i got this it hairspray mega freeze because it's always windy and crazy here in south florida and it was two dollars and 50 cents i don't think i can do much cheaper than that for freeze it hairspray and then last, but certainly not least, is something I totally didn't need at all. I'm sorry, I'm being attacked by these bags. Totally did not need this, but it is so cute. A new coffee mug. If I could get it out of the bag, good Lord. Ah! Ah! My gracious, they packed this good. Look at this. Bay, bacon and eggs. I totally did not need this mug, but I need this mug. And it was on clearance for $1.50 and it is totally true. Bacon and eggs is my bay. And I took Rachel's tire off and I noticed she is missing a brake pad. So we're gonna have to get one of those next time I go to Walmart. Okay, so it is about 10.30 right now and I'm a little hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat something. Um, I just put a couple of eggs in this Vitamix along with the half tablespoon of butter that I am gonna cook it with. And this is a little trick that I have been using to add more girth and volume to uh, my meals because you know I love eating giant food. So as you can see, 
a couple eggs start to get bigger and bigger and bigger in the Vitamix and all of the butter is doing its delicious job working with it. You don't have to add milk. You don't have to add water. Um, the eggs are just fluffing up and then I use Joe's cooking technique for just slow cooking the omelet and wait until you see how giant these eggs become. So as you can see, lots of air bubbles. It's fluffing up this omelet already. I'm just gonna put a dish on top of that, keep it at a very low temperature, and it will be done when it's done. Okay, so my presentation isn't amazing, but as you can see, I have a giant plate of eggs with just two eggs and a half a tablespoon of butter. So I'm using one tablespoon of this halftime pickle game day dip. It is amazing. And if you are a, you know, egg salad person, this thing is incredible. So the table, um, it's supposed to be a serving size of two tablespoons. I just used one and the total carbs is three. So I guess one and a half carbs um, in the dip, but totally worth it. Are you ready to do this photo shoot? Yes, I'm a little bit nervous. Why? You're not supposed to try new like eye makeup and such when you're, you know, having an important day and I did. So I'm worried that I'm gonna be like wearing it around my knees before we're done with this. You look great. Let's go do this and see how comical it could be. <laughs> what are you doing? My new mug. I like that mug. I'm your bae and bacon and eggs are my bae. <laughs> You guys would have been hysterical laughing at that photo shoot. Oh my gosh, it was so cringy. Anthony could barely push the button. He was laughing so hard. And that's just making us laugh more because see, we are super cheap. Or frugal is the better word. Thrifty. And we didn't want to like go to a professional studio. And so we decided, okay, we could do this ourselves. I ran to Joanne Fabrics, got some white muslin, which is now hanging up behind this background. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, because I'm trying to like steam out like all the creases because they wanted like a white backdrop. And, and we were like, how to make that happen? Yeah, because we are not professional photographers, as you can tell by the earlier videos. Well, and as you can tell by a lot of our food photos, <laughs> I mean, it's like a nightmare going on in there we have no idea what we're doing but it was just hysterical because we're laughing then anthony's laughing and then his girlfriend shows up and she's laughing at us and we're like sorry this is how we are and before i went i started to get like excited like maybe i should go get my makeup done or something for pictures so i went to sephora and they said and i asked them like how much would it cost for them to do like a makeup and they were like, you have to buy something for $50 and we'll do it. And I was like, well, I guess we're going to Walgreens and I'm getting some eye makeup and I'm doing it myself. And I told you, you need to go to, what, what is it, Ultra? Ultra? Yeah, Ultra. Ultra. And get a bunch of makeup and just go follow the Catherine, Catherine Michelle. Michelle's like video because she does great makeup. She does. I feel like she has such a steady hand though. And mine is like, <laughs> like I'm gonna stab myself in the face. So I know my lines are like, yeah. Well, I think you look incredible. Thank you. I think that your eye makeup is amazing too. Well, I hope so, considering I don't have any on. God did it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna film the Keto Crate opening now. Yes. And then we're gonna make our fudge. Yeah. And our brisket is done, so I just have it like sitting in the smoker at 200 degrees to keep it at the right temperature and I cannot wait to eat that brisket. Me neither. Okay, here we go. This smells delicious. Got it wrapped here in butcher paper. Go ahead and unplug the meat probe. And we're gonna go let this rest for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna eat. Tabitha, you wanna try your new food? You know what that is, don't you? Katona. You wanna try your new food? You gotta sit. Nope, you gotta sit. Heck yes, I do. Sit. It should have a little rip thing on it. Does it? Yeah, it should have a little rip thing. I feel like I never know how to operate it correctly. So I think I'm gonna cut it. <laughs> okay, Tabitha, sit. Don't touch it, sit. She's 
waiting in anticipation. I know, she's so she good. wants her new food. Daddy's so slow. Let's see how quickly she gobbles this down. Ooh, it's an interesting looking. Let me get her scoop. Nope. Oh, you gotta sit. Ooh. Tabitha, you gotta sit. That's the wrong cat. That's cat Look food. That, guys. Tabitha, sit. Hey. That's nope. Tabitha, you're not paying attention. You know how happy she is. She's like, Boo. okay, come here. No, don't touch it. Good girl. Stay. What does it look like? It looks kind of like rabbit food to me. Huh. We're gonna see. Don't okay. touch it. Don't touch that. Don't touch it. Okay, go ahead. Good girl. I think we have a winner. I think she likes it. Tabitha, don't touch it now. What is your reaction? You've got to say that that is a good, well-trained dog. We just told her mid-bite, stop touching it, and she's not touching it. She's the bestest in the whole world. Okay, okay go ahead. Definitely for larger breed dogs, I do recommend getting some training for them because you don't want something this big like around kids unless they're super good about food and you know not being food aggressive. It literally took like 10 minutes to teach her don't touch this. But it's just worth and we that can investment. do it again again like this. Tabitha, don't touch that. She's gonna finish mid-bite. Sit. She almost needs to do this because she will go her food down like mommy. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Good job. Good girl. Yeah, she's really good. You can put her your hands in there with a bowl and she won't bite you or anything like that, but definitely worth that training time. Well, if you're interested in a higher quality dog food uh, without a bunch of fillers and all that kind of stuff, there's a link down in the description for this Katona. It is a bit expensive. It's about $90 a bag, but she's also only going to get two cups a day, so... She's totally in the worth end, it. it's worth it. Yeah, you're gonna save on vet bills. It's just like for people, right? Like you're going to save on joint inflammation and medicine and skin issues, all of those things. Yeah. For those of you who may be interested in what the ingredients are, here are the ingredients. As Tabitha tries to lick the bag. Okay, tap of the eight. Can we eat now? Yes, please. Okay, it's time to. She comes first. Open up this brisket here. I'll give you the camera. Let's see how it came out. This butcher paper works incredible on a smoker. It doesn't burn or anything. I actually like it better than aluminum foil, and it's cheaper. Oh wow. my gosh! Look at that. Look at that brisket. That has got a nice crust on it. That is gorgeous. How many hours did it wind up cooking? Um, it's been done for about two hours. So I had it going for about 15 hours. Wow. Are you ready? Let's just cut right in the middle. And here's what we care about. Like, let's see what that smoke ring looks like. It is hot. Well, it did just come out of a smoker. Okay, let's see. Wow, that is beautiful. Time to eat. Yes, it is. What are you doing? I call dibs on the paper links. I walk out of the room for two seconds and like you're eating the paper. I'm probably going to be eating some paper too. I don't know if that's a carb thing or not, but like, yeah, I'm eating that. It's delicious. So here is my plate. I have 18 ounces of brisket, combination of the part with like a lot of fat and not a lot of fat. I've got some broccoli, some of the Chef Chamois butter, and then I have two ounces of that Romanian cheese. And then Rachel mm. has about 14 ounces of brisket and some broccoli, Chef Chamois, and of course, Redmond Rail Salt every time you're still eating paper i am i haven't even gotten to my main event this is this is pre-game 
It's delicious. Here's a fork and knife for you. Because the like, what is it? The bark or the crust the on this? The bark. So good. What seasonings are you using? Um, I just used some like paprika, uh, some chili seasoning, you know, just a combination of seasonings. I put a little bit of coffee in it. Oh, wow. So we do have a recipe for our rub on, on our website. I'll leave a link for it down below. I know that there is a fork here, but I'm just going to eat like an animal. Well, I am really excited to try this because we made this very different than last time. You it's can slow. see. Look at it. Well, it's always slow, but this was a lot slower. The only problem was is I forgot to load the pellets and somewhere this morning it did like run out of pellets and mm. it actually didn't run out, but the machine like didn't drop them from the sides down to the bottom. So it went about an hour. So the problem is when I relit it, it had to flare up a little bit. But, oh, okay. But. It doesn't look like it's scarred by mm. that no. happening today. Oh my gosh, that is so good. That is crazy good. Beef for brisket. I can eat it every day. Mm-hmm. Well, now football season is over, so I'm home more. And we can get back into smoking because the problem is, is during sports seasons, you know, most of the foods that we smoke, it takes all day. And right. I'm not to... here at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock when it's time to come you off of the smoker. don't want to leave it unattended. Yeah, so... Except for overnight. I was surprised that you were okay with me lighting a fire smoker at midnight and then going to bed. I'm learning to trust you more. Trust your judgment. Maybe that's a bad thing for me, but... I just realized, like, your eyeshadow matches your shirt. I really like that. Aww. That looks really good. Yeah, I totally planned that. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to eat... And I think you're pretty much done because you had some eggs and stuff. This is my first meal today. Mm -hmm. But I think I saved you enough calories. I looked at how much you had in chronometers so that we can have like one of those enlightened bars. Oh, yes. And then I'm going to have this. And then I don't know what else I'm going to eat. I'm, I'm only at about like 1,900 calories here. So I need to eat some more food. But I don't know what I'm going to eat yet. It's a happy conundrum. Yeah. Nothing better than eating meat and broccoli. So Rachel says I'm a wuss, but I can't finish my dinner. I'm going to have to wait and eat it later on. I will see you at the finish line. You still have a bunch to go. I'm working on it. It's going to happen. I'm going to make a happy plate. Don't you worry. I can't believe I'm going to say this. What? But I think I'm going to have to leave the rest of this for later. No way. No what way. Happened? Rachel Stauffer can't finish her food. What's wrong? <laughs> You're normal? I'm just, I'm very disappointed. It's kind of proving the theory that we're working on that we can't talk about right now. I have a quick question as a mom. Okay. Since we didn't finish our dinner, does that mean we can't have dessert? Nuh uh. We should have started with a dessert. But we've always told our kids, like, no dessert if you can't finish your dinner. We're gonna break that rule. Don't tell them. <laughs> Who was at the door? It was Publix. Now we're getting deliveries to the house from them. Well, it was Instacart. So, yeah, I had a free, like, coupon for a free delivery from Publix. So, why not? This way I didn't have to go to Publix. Why is there three containers of mascarpone? Uh, to make cannolis. Oh! You're going to work on your keto chopping? Yeah, that's, like, one of my ingredients for my cannoli cream. And then they had the Happy Egg Company free range eggs on sale, $3.50 a dozen. We're super happy. I ordered five dozen, but the guy sent me a thing saying they only had three dozen in stock. What happens if there is like a chicken that's like hanging out there farming and it's just like sad? Do they like do something about that? Time for some ice cream. I think we have an ice cream problem. Okay, somewhere down here we have some enlightened bars. Rachel, we have marshmallow peanut butter. You have a chocolate fudge. And that's it. Marshmallow peanut Oh wait, there's one mint. Marshmallow peanut butter. Did you know that this guy Gus hit the eighth hole in one of his golfing career at the age of 103? Wow, I never had a hole in one. Well, maybe you're not 103 yet. I don't think I've ever even had a hole-in-one playing mini-golf, let alone when I used to play regular golf. I did have a hole-in-one playing mini-golf, remember? Oh, Recently. that's right, you did. 
Feel good fact, the first hot air balloon passengers were a sheep, a duck, a rooster. They landed safe and sound. Good. <laughs> so, yeah, are you supposed to be eating that ice cream? You didn't finish your dinner. I couldn't. I don't know what happened. I feel like you owe me some of that ice cream after we did the review of The Enlightened and, like... I caught you eating my ice cream. Wasn't this the flavor that you were eating on me? Yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> Can't help you. So if you guys have not tried these Enlightened Bars, they are really, really good. We did a review of them. I'll leave a link for that over my head. And it's a really nice amount. Mm-hmm. Um, the ingredients aren't bad. They do have soluble corn fiber in them. Uh... I know AD Keto did a blood sugar test. It elevated it slightly, not enough to bother me. It wasn't like it jumped up 40 points, but it's not as clean as some of the other, you know, ice creams out there, but it's just a nice treat once in a while. We don't eat it a lot. We definitely don't. As you can tell by our freezer, we have a bunch of ice cream and we're lucky if we eat a pint a week and that is even a lot. I'd say we're more like a pint every couple of weeks. But we're stockpiling for a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. What's nice about these ice cream bars, and I don't know if they're available in stores yet. We had ordered them and mm -hmm. they had sent us some. Uh, what's nice about them is like, you don't have to worry about a serving size or anything like that. It's like, here it is. Yeah, because I can negotiate a lot when you're having me scoop it out myself. Oh, you mean like, uh, let's weigh everything out. And oh, wait a second, let me scrape off the top of the lid with the spoon. Will that go in my mouth? Oh, and before I put the spoon into the dishwasher, uh, let me take one more spoon. Yeah, I've never done that. <laughs> I thought you were describing me. We've all done it. Well, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit our, that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.